Hi, I'm Jay Silver, president of Helicon Foundation Repair, and we're out here in beautiful Trinity, Florida, button up sinkhole repairs on uh, what was a sinkhole that a lot of folks had doubts whether this thing could even be repaired. Uh, it affected multiple properties, the county, uh, Springhaven communities, the Varsity Club. Back in January 2021, a massive sinkhole opened up here on this site. And uh, you know, as I mentioned, a lot of people thought that this sinkhole would not be able to be repaired. Well, Helicon was up for the challenge along with our partner, Basic Engineering, who's out here monitoring today. And I uh, just wanted to take you kind of through the story of from the time that this sinkhole opened up uh, to the time that we're here today uh, repairing it. Kind of going back to January when we started out here at the sinkhole, uh, it was a massive cover collapse that opened up. And think of an hourglass. You have the top of the hole that comes down into a, a throat that's real skinny, narrow down the middle, and then that opens up down at the bottom of the hourglass. So our first um, order, kind of a design to repair this, was we wanted to choke that throat, choke up the throat and fill it with fill dirt and rocks. And uh, as we started the, the repair process back in January 2021, we just were not able to choke the, the throat of the sinkhole, and we had to fill it from the inside out. And what I mean by that is we had to fill the bottom of the hourglass up through the throat and then up at the top, which you see here out of the site, you know, that's the, the top of the sinkhole. And uh, we're gonna take a, a stroll over here in a little while to walk over the sinkhole and kind of go through some of the things that we did. But talking about the filling it from the inside out, so we proceeded to bring about a thousand dump trucks of rock fill material. So we filled that all down through the throat, filled the bottom of the sinkhole up, and uh, we proceeded once the whole sinkhole was filled, just natural settlement, it would settle down each month. So we'd come back out, put some more fill dirt, compact it down. And we did this for about six to eight months uh, until we got to this point where we're doing the compaction grouting. And uh, let me take you over the site so we can check out what we're doing. Here I'm standing now, this used to be a massive sinkhole cover collapse. And that's where this thing all started. As you look out to the road, we have Little Road, very, very busy intersection to the front, and then Springhaven Community to the back of us. So we started out first, as I mentioned, trying to choke off that sinkhole throat. We put tons of boulders, fill material, and we just weren't able to choke the throat. So we, we started filling from the ground up. And then that's where we've got to this filled platform that we are today. And from here, the engineer wanted to recommend 45 of these compaction grout points. So these are mud rotary wash drilled into the ground and they range from about 140 feet to about 80 feet out on this site. And what we're doing is once we've installed to limestone, we hook up our TK40 uh, grout pump over here with the concrete uh, truck and pump. And then we're pumping concrete under high pressure uh, down into the ground. And you see we have a, a pressure gauge that's monitoring the pressure here out at the site. And then our operator is also monitoring uh, the ground for any lift. The engineer actually wanted to see the ground heave or a high pressure reading to show that we've densified and compacted the soils. So kind of what we've, we've done once we've filled the sinkhole, what we're doing now is we're drilling down grout casing and we're capping and we're sealing that limestone layer down at 80, 100 feet. And that, that is to protect so that we do not have any fracture in the limestone to open up another sinkhole. So we're gonna seal that limestone layer and then we're gonna pump concrete all the way up to about 15 feet to the surface. And that's what we have here is our, our uh, compaction grout point. The way that the, uh, the pipe is brought up to the next zone, these hydraulic rams grab onto the pipe and pull it up to the next zone. So we, we repeat that process on all of these 45 points that are around in a grid pattern, most of them have been completed until we uh, compact and fill all the voids. 
On this, this project, we pumped approximately right now about 500 cubic yards of grout. That's about uh, 50 of these cement trucks. There are 10 cubic yards each. And it's looking like we're approximately gonna finish at about 580 cubic yards. And once that's done, folks, this hole is, sinkhole is com compacted, remediated and filled. And uh, we've kind of, at Helicon and with basic engineering, achieved the, what was thought to be the impossible. We filled this massive sinkhole and uh, we're very, very proud to be one of the only here in the state of Florida to fill a sinkhole like this. Helicon is the go-to number one foundation repair company in Florida. We help businesses, homeowners that are being affected by soil issues, whether it's sinkhole, whether you're, you're building or structure settling, whether you have concrete settling, we can lift and, and level that as well. Um, so we're very, very versatile. The last step of this process, when I mentioned the chemical grout, we're gonna come in at a, a, a grid pattern. There's gonna be 116 points out here, and those are gonna range from 12 feet to, and we're gonna start at 12 feet, and we're gonna pump every two feet until we get up to two foot. So two foot intervals, and we're gonna pump approximately 8,000 pounds of chemical material out here. And uh, when we're done with that final stage of the process, uh, basic engineering will stamp and seal this. Uh, Sinkhole is remediated, and uh, we can reopen this beautiful roadway and uh, get rid of all the, uh, the barriers and the signs. So uh, hope you uh, learned a little about uh, what we did out here at the uh, Sinkhole out in Trinity, which you probably saw in the news uh, a year or so ago. And uh, again, really proud to be out here with our team and uh, filling this sinkhole and opening up the roadway for this community.